My name remains Oluwatoy Alausa. Of course, I'm a Nollywood actress and uh, a producer. And Kemiko Rede is a friend, a sister, and a colleague. Yeah. First, I'll say I met Kemiko Rede in the industry. I met Kemiko in the industry. And our friendship transcended more than work. We first had a very good work relationship and then somewhere along the line we bonded, we became very good friends. Um, she's a very sensitive and loving person. And what caught my attention and what made me start to love Kemi was her selflessness. Kemi is extremely selfless. She can go all out for somebody, you know, and that really caught my attention. We've had a lot of working experience together. We were both ambassadors to Honey Glow and um, yes, she's a loving person. So our friendship is more than the industry, yes. My most memorable, I'll say it was when I got back from US in 2021. And um, in fact, the one she did in 2021 is more than what she did in 2022. Because she just told me, oh, are you on set? I'm on set also not knowing that she planned a surprise birthday party for me and trust me i was shocked beyond words because um in my wildest dream how she was able to concede that and pull that through was so amazing and loving and uh, i really appreciated her for that it was quite memorable for me and of course she did it again this year so but that was really really it that one really got me I prayed for her, I prayed for her, I prayed for her, I prayed for her all the time because uh, prayer is the key and anybody that is close to me that knows me very well knows that I dwell in prayers. Um, what I'll say now in the public is that Kemi, oh, ni toni ba to bantu, bo she ni lo wo lo wo yi, ni ra gwe o, ni do ko, o gwe o de ni wo me, o lo ma da o mo e si, o lo ma de da e si ju ba e lo, a ye ti in fe, a ye o ni pa ke ni. Um, I wish you all the best, more than you can ever imagine, I wish you all the best. Well, I'm hoping that um, we, the citizens of Nigeria, will make a better decision. I'm hoping that whoever wins, whoever wins, irrespective of our personal choices and our differences, whoever wins, we put the affairs of this nation and the citizens first because um, the trend is that everybody wants to go in there and enrich themselves and um, do better for themselves. We are hoping that the next leader we have now will put the citizens of Nigeria, will put the growth of Nigeria, will put the insecurity cases, all the issues that we have had in past years, power electricity. We pray that they will look into all these things and make Nigeria a better nation. We are blessed already. God has blessed us. So I don't see any reason why we won't flourish and have a peaceful nation. So my own prayer is that next year we'll have a selfless leader who will come in and try. I know it might not be easy, but let them just try and look into the situation of this country and make it a better place for all of us. It doesn't only bother me, it gives me, I won't say, well, if I say heartache, I'm not, I'm not undermining it because, I mean, these are people's future that have been jeopardized, you know, and um, for all is worth, if we say the children are the leaders of tomorrow, our leaders are being grounded, our future leaders are being grounded, our destiny, their destinies are being grounded because they can't go to school, so... I mean, in such, what I think they should actually do, those in power, those that are in charge of that aspect, is that they should just put everything aside and sort it once and for all. It's long overdue. It's sad. It's sad. They are jeopardizing the future of these people, and it's really, really sad. Without meeting words, I would like to say that it's a step in the right direction. I hope that those who are still in um, such evil acts, those who still perpetuate such evil acts. I'm hoping that they learn that right now the law is not smiling on that act anymore. A lot of people have gone scot free. A lot of generations have been thwarted by all this um, molestation, rape and child abuse and what have you. But with his own case now, I'm sure they all realize that let them not be caught because if they are caught, they will face the 
wrath of the law and um, of course what fan of Bara. Um I'm not stopping on my onions. I'll continue to do my best to entertain them. I want to say a very big and heartfelt thank you to my fans for staying through with me, for loving me, for showing me their support. And I'm not stopping right here. Trust me. A lot is still coming. Before the year runs out, a production is still coming from my stable and I'm still performing for them to entertain them.